Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here, for tuning in. I'm Val, and we're just going to jump right in here and see um, what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in the North Nodes. Of course, it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. And I do offer personal reading options. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. And I think I already mentioned this is not going to resonate with all of you, okay? So, just a general reading. We'll see uh, what comes out for you, Aries, okay? Or for who you're dealing with. Okay, Aries, so it looks like here in regards to who you're dealing with, um, this is someone that I feel like is very successful. They have a lot of public recognition and success in some way, shape, or form, but I feel like you both have this or they want this with you. They want to share their recognition and success with you, okay? It could be like online stuff, of course, like public image stuff, but I feel like it's either online or offline, like out in the real, real world. Um, but either way here, whoever this is, I feel like they really want to be noticed and recognized by you, Okay. And that's causing them to, it's kind of like they feel confident enough to have what they have now. And so now they're ready to kind of spark something new here with you and start like a chapter. They feel very passionate here towards you, okay? And so that passion, that new beginning has caused them to want to kind of like, for now, lay low, really be calm, realistic, and think of some things here in life of what they'd like to do, how they want to talk to you. Um, they could already be in your life and they're just kind of thinking of how they want to communicate to you or they, you know, they're when they do talk to you, they're very calm, Okay. Um, very fair-minded and neutral and it looks like it's caused them to realize that there's a lot that they used to be afraid of about you or feel like they were stuck and restricted now they're breaking free and letting go of that and so that made them realize that they're not scared anymore to tell you or talk to you and now they're ready to tell you the truth about something so that truth has caused them to actually you know look at you like you're a mystery like wonder who you are wanting to figure out more about you okay in some way shape or form and so it looks like here that with that, you know, they're choosing to dive deeper about themselves, their subconscious mind, their thoughts, their feelings, who they are, um, study themselves, maybe even dream work, you know, whatever that is here. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify and see what's going on. Yes, so it looks like here, um, whoever this person is, they're definitely someone that's extremely, um, you know, they're very much in this energy of being, they're successful for what they do. So I don't know if they're spiritual or religious, um, or they like give guidance in some way, shape or form. Now, for some of you, they could be married to you already, or this person's just a very loyal person. So if they are in your life, or if they were to be, they're very loyal. They're trustworthy and trusting. And so they're trusting their intuition that maybe one day, hopefully, you would recognize them. You know what I mean? And notice them for who they are, um, whatever that may mean to you or to them too. But there's something going on here that's causing them to, you know, it's very beautiful energy and work. Maybe they do energy work, but there's something about them where... I think right now they're just individual based and focused on that right now. Um, but I do get the sense that they're like, kind of like, if they, they're kind of like, if they trust their intuition and just move forward in life that you would eventually notice them. Okay. But it's not in any kind of like, uh, 
I guess, toxic, like greedy, obsessive way of like, notice me and my success and I want your success. It's nothing like that. It's just kind of like, they're very flowy, okay? And intuitive. Um, like I said, very faithful to their own faith-based stuff or maybe even to you. But that's what's causing them to have this level of success and recognition and to have them want you to notice them in some way, shape or form. Yes, and so right now they're in this process of just kind of like budgeting, working, saving, um, building off of what they have, what they do for work, excuse me, hanging on to a lot about you for this new chapter and this new beginning that they want with you. Yes, so they're wanting to kind of break barriers and break free and want they want things to kind of move forward very quickly in some way, shape or form here. Now, they could be relocating, traveling. They could be a long distance kind of a person possibly here. I don't know. But, you know, with that, with them moving forward very quickly and planning some things and having a lot going on, that's what's causing them to actually want to be calm, fair, neutral with how they communicate. Um, and really just understand, you know, they're just basically kind of someone that's easy going and easy to talk to basically here. Okay, so you guys have already gone your rounds. So this person, whether you, 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 you may have closed out a cycle on them, they may have closed the door on you. So what's going on now is all these doors have been closed. Now there's a door that's opening for the both of you here from them to you. And so they're wanting a new chapter, a new beginning here with you. And that's what's making them not no longer be afraid. That's now what's making them want to express themselves or just not beer, not be in that interesting beer, beer, not beer. <laughs> Who's the beer drinker, Aries? Is it you or them? Something about beer. Okay. Someone likes beer. <laughs> um, anyway, that's funny. <laughs> well, have an IPA for me because I'm a sober Sally over here, but I do not judge people who drink. I used to be a big IPA drinker. <laughs> so, and then I started gaining weight and having weird problems. And, and then, and then you know, I became an alcoholic. And so four years later, I'm sober. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> um, you know, hopefully that doesn't happen to you or who you're dealing with. But anyway, um, you know, and alcohol does kill your brain cells, just so you know. But hey. Still, hang loose, all right? Have a good time for me, all you lovely beer connoisseurs out there. But what I was gonna say here is, um, you know, the cycle closed out and now they're ready to break free here. Okay, so they're very independent. Like they, they, they do really good with their job and they're very like focused. Like, so they show up to work on time kind of a person. They always like, just got things to do. They're busy. They, they've done it all themselves maybe, or they're like very good at what they do at their job, wherever they work at. And so the thing is, is within their job, somehow, some way, that's where they're trying to talk to you or tell you the truth, if that makes sense. It's like now that they're like stable and independent and they got their own business and stuff going for them and their own career path, now they're ready to tell you the truth about how they feel about you. Yeah, so it's more of that coworker energy here or it's something that they do on their end at their job where it's now like a mystery, illusion, delusion, like nothing too negative, nothing deceptive. Like I said, dream work, subconscious mind and the conscious mind and studying, you know, maybe, I don't know, research and scientific possibly, who knows. But anyway, it looks like here that, you know, they're willing to work with you in any way, shape or form. It doesn't have to be coworker energy, okay? And so now... Throughout their mind and their dreams, it's like maybe they're studying you. Who knows? Maybe they think about you and dream about you. I don't know. But that is what I have here for you. That's how they end it. Now, in case you're dealing with these signs, I see here we have Pisces. Lots of Pisces. Cancer. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Thank you, Aries. Bye.